Hello, hello, hello. Hey, oh, welcome to the channel. I'm just going to angle that up a little bit. I hope everybody's having a good day. Not too bad the day here at all. I'll just set up my dashboard so I can see. There we go. Let's put the chat on so I can see the chat. Welcome to Cooking with Jason. And today we're going to do something I haven't done in a while. A pasta bake with turkey meatballs. Bertie's just eating a treat I gave him off camera. Okay, so what do we do to start with? To start with, we cut up an onion. Actually, I'll put two onions in it. So I'm going to make a sauce. It's going to be a chili infused sauce. Actually, I'm tempted to put in. I'm actually going to cook it all. Let's use the big saucepan for the start of it. So I can pour it on top of what I'm going to put in there. That way I can be doing two things at once, which is a good thing. I like doing two things at once. So I'm just quartering some onions. Of course, these are just guidelines. If you like your onions finely chopped, then finely chopped onions. It's completely up to you. Fine and chopped onions are fine. I just like mine chunky. So let's set that in a place where people can see it. So there is no problem with it. I'm going to add some mushrooms to it. Once again, just slicing them once, putting them in. They should be fine. In theory, all is good. Hello. So we're going to do a pasta bake with a chili infused, I like, that, I like that word, infused. A chili sauce, basically. So I think that's enough. We need to do something a couple of tomatoes. Let's just slice the tomatoes. Nothing needs to be too. So we've got tomatoes, mushrooms, on your tongue is one actually. And what last we need? Cooking oil. We need cooking oil and I am using coconut. Don't need too much of it but it gives like this the taste of this. I think that's enough actually. The sauce is going in there, and then the pasta bake is going in this one, this next week. Let's put you over here so you can see both, because we're going to be doing dual things at the same time. Turn this on, turn this on, it only needs one there. Couple. I hope everybody's having fun. Um, there's not much I can do about the lighting in this room at the moment. Until I can buy a blind and cover this window, I can't really control the lighting. But well, that's okay. Now, what do I have in the base? Usually pasta. Just letting everything start up. I'm going to get rid of the onions skins. This too. How's that going? I hope everybody's having a good morning. 
I know I've said it on my, my other streams, but damn, last night was amazing. It was. If you've got any questions, just ask. So I'm doing a sauce that will go over the top of my plastic. And what we're going to use as meat. Turkey meatballs. You can use any kind of meatballs. Yeah. Turkey meatballs. That's all. I'm going to use them back. Roll that. Turn you down. 30. Come on, I'll try. I'm trying to get to this. Turn you down a bit more. You didn't miss anything really. We've started a sauce which is going to be a chunky sauce and it's going to have mushrooms, onions and tomato slices in it. There. And we've got turkey meatballs frozen and some fusely pasta. Hello Dylan, hey yo. Feel free to ask me anything about the dish. I think people had a lot of fun last night. I know people had a lot of fun last night. Yeah. Is everything I need? Everything I need. Hello. So what we're doing is this. Creating a sauce. It's going to be a chunky sauce, but you can do it fine as well, if you prefer fine. It's only got onions, mushrooms and tomatoes in at the moment, just frying them up. I will be adding some chilli, I will be adding some tomato soup, because that will go well in there. In the pan we have turkey meatballs and fusilli pasta. That's the base of the pasta bake. Yeah. The whole point of the event was for people to have fun. For the community to come together to celebrate power. And gaming matters. And we, we proved that last night. People from all over New Eden, and people who didn't know anything about you, logged into that stream and had fun. And that's what it's about. So, this sauce is... They'll be ready for me to put some in there, you know what I mean? I'm heating up the oven. Oh, question. Ask me thing. If you could only eat one food again for the rest of your life, what would you eat? Oh, let me think about that. That's an interesting one. Hmm. One food. I think I would choose something like a basic pasta dish. I know you get tired of it over time, but I like pasta a lot. I've ate it all my life. Something like spaghetti bolognese. I wouldn't go for anything too strong tasting or anything too bland because you would get bored with it. Pizza. Keegan would go for pizza. Uh, why doesn't that surprise me that Keegan would go for pizza? I'd go for pasta, Keegan would go for pizza. <laughs> That's awesome. 
So they're just getting to the point where I can add something to them. So, nothing. Tomato soup, it's the basic one from Asda because it has the least amount of salt in, the least amount of extras. It is very basic and that's what I want. There's nothing in it that's E numbers or all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to open this up and pour it into that so I can I'll just put a little bit of water in this and add the water as well. Right, let's turn that up a bit. I'm not a fan of soup on its own, but tomato soup is lovely. I like to use soup in my meals because oxtail soup makes a really nice gravy. You can also make a really nice gravy with vegetable soup. You can make a nice stew with using vegetable soup as a base. Now, we want to add so, Italian herbs. Here we are, Italian herbs. Nothing major. Just chip on. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Mild chilli powder to start with. Some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. crushed chilies. I don't want, once again, I don't want this to be completely destroyed by just tinny and chew. Yeah, that is actually enough of that. And we need some pepper. Let's start to mix that up. You can smell that. That's gorgeous. So I'll probably actually add some more water to that. Let me add some more water to it. So it's got to have enough liquid to be absorbed by the pasta. So I think that's a better consistency. So I'm doing a little sauce which has got mushrooms, onions, a few sliced tomatoes, a tomato soup as a base, and some mixed herbs, chilli, cayenne pepper. I don't give measurements out because everybody's different. I know my measurements. I know what I enjoy, at what level of heat, what level of, um, if I put garlic in something, I know my enjoyment. You can find out yours by just doing it and trying, add a little bit of time. So, we've got the frozen meatballs here, which they're okay to be frozen. The turkey meatballs on top of Huesley. And we're just going to let that, let me turn it up actually. And once I put that in there, then we will do the topping. We are having multiple toppings. I'm going to use some crisps as a as a plate. Last night was amazing. It really was. And uh, that was saying that the cuckoo 
the oven is ready. almost ready so we are just cooking the sauce is just starting to get to the point where I will put it on top of the turkey meatballs and pasta if anybody's got any questions about the meal just ask I would say that that sauce is about ready. So turn up all the heat here and we're going to move this over to here so you can all see. Just you can resist that on top of the controls. It's okay to add the juice because the pasta will absorb it in the oven. So what we've got there is the stuff. You've let it just use this to even it out. There. Now I mean use a couple of packets of basic this pushed up as a box. We are making a chili infused pasta bake. I've done the sauce which was just um, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, Tomato, a tomato soup as a base, heated that up, added some chilli, some crushed chilli and some cane pepper and some pepper. Yes, the it doesn't matter that the turkey meatballs are frozen. It will in no way affect the meal. By the time this cooks, they're fine. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, that's a little base for what I'm going to do next. The crisps, you can use cheese and onion crisps. Cheese and onion crisps are really nice. I've only got very soulful, but these ones suit me better. This is why I haven't added any salt in it. So good. So that's the, the crisp on, on top. I don't know. I've got, someone's going to give me a Titan. Someone is going to give me a Titan as soon as I've, tra I've trained up the skills. There's a couple of skills I've still got to train that I didn't know I still had to train. So instead I've been given another Nix. I know I'm not going to blow it up very quickly. I want to use the Inflites. <laughs> So, we are going to put cheese on top of it. We're going to have cheese on top of it. And I need, hmm, what do I need? I need a knife that's sharp. That will do. So, red Leicester cheese, I'm going to layer it with. I'm just going to cover it with red Leicester before it goes in the oven. Last night's event was amazing. So yeah, I don't have to worry about some amazingly generous people gave me some wonderful gifts. And yes, at some point in time in the future, 
I will be doing another event like this because this event was so amazing. And the amount of people we got together for it was just wonderful. So, you can use any kind of cheese. You can use mozzarella, you can use cheddar, um, American cheese. That is that ready. Now I need some foil. It's a saw. Silver side down, so it locks in the heat. Now let's move this back. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Oh. And then I'll take, take the lid off. So, we can just chat now. <laughs> Believe me, it tastes nice. It's a pasta and chili sauce, turkey meatball mix. It's something I've made before and it is really nice. Well, feel too free to ask any questions. Crisps, yeah, the reason you add crisps is when, think of it like, when the cheese melts, it will go straight down into the sauce. But if you've got a layer of crisps on top, it infuses that and creates like a lid over the entire thing. And it is really nice. Cheese infused crisps are very like um, tacos with cheese, melted cheese on them. There's a reason you have that. It's nice. It is my recipe, yeah. It's not really, a, when you think about it, what have I put in there? Wait for the dog to finish having a drink. Okay. Turkey meatballs are really lean. Very lean. There's hardly any fat in them at all. The pasta is fine. The cheese, red Leicester, well, it tastes nice. I'm not going... I eat better than a lot better than I did and any meal I create in the kitchen is going to have less salt less sugar less fat than the takeout we've got fresh tomatoes in there fresh onions we've got fresh mushrooms as the base the oil we used to fry with was coconut oil which is one of the healthiest options to fry with at all you can do really healthy fries. I use it because I like the taste. I find olive oil a bit overpowering when I use that. But yeah, you basically just create a sauce. Help. It's a recipe, but it's a guideline. You don't have to use turkey meatballs. You could use, I've done it with this. Instead of turkey meatballs, I've done it in the past with hot dog sausages that have been sliced up or I've done it with ham, I've done it with chicken, I've done it with beef, I've done it with mince, I've done it with tuna. So there's lots of different things you can add and it blends and works really well. So you just create the sauce, as I showed earlier in here, just pan fry a few of the different vegetables and that, put them together. I have a tin of tomato sauce. Now the reason I use tin of tomato sauce is it makes a really good sauce. But, this is my tip. In the UK at least, most of the big supermarkets have their own brand. And they do really cheap tomato sauce soup. Now this cheap tomato soup has less salt in it, less sugar, less ingredients than Heinz or any of the others. It's actually better for you than any of the other brands. So if I'm not gonna if I add that into it, I don't add any salt. 
It takes the place of adding salt into the meal, and so on. Yay! Oh, thank you, Morda. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscription. And this will do two meals for me and one meal for Trevor. So it will be in thirds. A third of each I will eat for my lunch. I have, this morning for my breakfast, I just had an apple and a banana. That's all I had for my breakfast. And I've just done an hour and a half in Skyrim VR running around. That takes you out of you. So we're just going to wait on that for a little bit. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm very open about everything I do. Since I've started cooking for myself, I've lost 15 kilograms in total. To put that in perspective, that I believe 15 kilograms, I, in fact, I'd have to look it up to find out on Google conversion into pounds. It's okay, listen, the stream's up there, the video's up there ready to watch. It was an amazing event and it really showed what EVE community and what gaming community can do when they come together. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. So yeah, I've lost 33 pounds in the past two months because I've stopped eating takeout. I've stopped eating junk. I'm not dieting, I'm still eating really well. But every meal that I do each day is on the stream. I use fresh vegetables if I can get them. If not, I use tinned stuff. And I've made quite a few really nice meals. I make a really nice ramen meal every yesterday. And it's just made it so I look at what I eat more. And I try to choose the options that taste nice. But I'm not frying my in batter and stuff like that. But I, I, haven't, got a, I haven't got a chip pan anyway. If I do chips, it would have to be in the oven. Thank you so much. But yeah, just ask me any questions about the meal. It was a chili, a chili infused sauce with pasta and turkey meatballs with a topping of crisps and cheddar. And I know it's going to be nice because I've done this one a long time ago before. In about five, six minutes, I am going to actually take the foil off so that it can crisp up at the top. I don't usually eat the meal on stream. That is something I haven't done. I usually go and sit down in the living room with the dogs. Right, what I'm going to do now, I will turn this around a little bit. Let's just put it over here and turn this up there. So you can see all the bits and pieces that are on the cupboard there. I am just going to be, see what I want to do, I need to get a blind in here so I can control the lighting in the kitchen. I can't control the lighting in the kitchen at all at the moment. But once I've got a blind, I can set up the proper lighting. I'm just going to, do a few dishes. This is something that most streamers don't show you. There is dishes and there is mess when you make a meal. So I'm just going to do a few dishes over here while I'm waiting for that So I can still see the stream, stream chat. I'll be checking in a second. So. Put this over here. Dry. My hands. I always taste the meal. 
before I come off stream, I always taste it and try not to burn my lips. <laughs> Yeah, three more minutes and I'm going to take the actual foil off because I want it to reduce the sauce a little bit. How many subs have I got? I, I believe I've got 60 subs now. Let me check. Let me check that. Oh, do, do, do. I've got to push that away and check that. I've got 58 subs. Which is amazing. I've got 58 subs. I'm coming close to about 30%, 35% of the money I need to live on. It's amazing. Via this and Patreon. And that's all with not monetizing my streams. None of my streams are monetized as far as I know. I can't do anything about... I can't do anything about the Twitch advert they put at the start and none of my videos on YouTube are monetized because I made a decision long ago when I started the channel, well long ago, only two and a half months. I don't want to force advertisements on people. None of my YouTube videos will ever be monetized because if people want to go on my Patreon and give me $2.50 or have a subscription on Twitch, awesome. Or they want to donate me some bits, fine. But it's personal truth. I don't want to be in a situation where my my videos have adverts in. Yeah, keep keep on with the questions. I'm going to get ready to get my hand in there. I have my mittens. You see, if you, these packs of crisps, here's a tip for you. These are the basic ready salted crisps. And you think, because they say they're salted, it's bad for you. These have very, very little salt in them. 0 0.28 grams. Very little. And all that is in here is potatoes, sunflower oil, and salt. That is the entire ingredients list for these salted, these basic salted crisps. Is there's no e numbers, there's nothing added because it's just basic salted crisps. I can handle these. I can't handle Doritos anymore. My body, since the bowel cancer and the removal of forty percent of it, I can't eat Doritos or any other kind of crisps, only basic salt. And they're better for you, even though they've got salt in It's kind of sad. So yeah, I just say, if you want to support, support me, then my Patreon, which is linked beneath, through the commands on the actual channel, $2.50. And if I get 480 people doing that, I can live on that happily, safely. And if you subscribe to Twitch, I get $2.50 for each subscription. So it's definitely doable that way. I just want it to be your personal truth. I hate watching videos and have an advert come in halfway through. It's horrible. It's annoying. It annoys me. Right, let's take the lid off. Let's pull you back. This oven is amazing. I'll just show you, I'll turn it down. This oven is amazing. The actual outside of it is cold. You never get any heat at all. It's actually chilly to the touch, the front of that oven is. So you always have to watch because it keeps it really well insulated and it keeps the heat in really well. So let's take that off. Like that. Oh. Get rid of that. But feel free to ask me any questions. 
about what I do, why I do all this. I have thought about sponsorship. I'm not going to join a big group, but I've said before on my channel that if certain companies I wouldn't mind being sponsored for because I actually believe in them. Um, I wouldn't mind sponsorship from RAV Power, the people who make the solar panels and batteries, simply because when Paula was in hospital, we used their batteries to power her phone in. During the night and everything, she always had a RAV Power battery. And I have solar panels in the backyard that I charge my phones with. I've used them for years. I'm not ever going to sell out. I couldn't do that, but this is to do with power. But I wouldn't mind sponsored, being sponsored by a company I believe in. But that's the big limit. And unfortunately, a lot of these companies, you need to have a lot of subscribers, a lot of followers anyway. But if in the future I will only ever get a subscription uh, per support anyone I actually believe in. I would happily be sponsored by Ubisoft. I love their games. Me and Paola spent so many years traveling through Assassin's Creed together. When Paola was too disabled to leave the house, she could travel through Paris, ancient Italy. She, the, her last game that she was able to play was Origins. She got to explore the pyramids. I mean, and Egypt, when she couldn't leave the house, What's better than that? So we're just waiting for this to do now. I'd say it still needs another 10 minutes, unfortunately. And I don't do cutaways. I don't do um, stop the stream because I want you to see everything of what I do. I don't hide anything. Some meals are very quick, other meals a bit slow but this is a good time for anybody to ask me any questions and I'm also always looking for suggestions of meals I did borscht yesterday and that was amazing and that was because one of the people on the stream let me know that um, they were from Russia and would you like to make this soup a little why not? So I got the items in, the beetroot and everything, and I made a borscht. It was actually really nice. So yeah. I love doing this. I mean, I cooked for Paola for about 20 years. Paola was a good cook as well. When she was well enough. She made a really nice lasagna. I want to do one of her versions of the lasagna, the family recipe. Yeah, I think about another 10 minutes on that. It's got to have time for the liquid to soak into the pasta. I didn't pre coop the pasta at all, so it's got to be a little bit longer. So we're just chatting while we're waiting for it to finish. And you can ask me anything. I will be starting the proper stream of gaming at midday. What time is it now? I believe it's something past. It's 20 past 11. So, in about 30, 40 minutes, maybe 50, depending on what I'm doing, I will be upstairs in the streaming room, stabbing things in Assassin's Creed Odyssey for an hour. And then we'll decide what I'm going to play after that. I have plans. I stream every single day for about 12 hours. I produce more content than most streamers, but I'm not very well known yet. I've only been doing it for three months. So what I do is, 8 o'clock in the morning, I do a Skyrim VR. I've got a setup upstairs. And I do Skyrim VR for an hour. I did about an hour and a half of Skyrim VR this morning. 
then at half ten I do the cooking one like this and then at 12 I play Assassin's Creed and I play all the way through till four o'clock on different games four o'clock I have two hours off I watch a film I eat at tea time and then at six o'clock or around about that I go back online till about 11 o'clock at night and we play Eve and we play anything we want Eve, balloons, Warframe, lots of things. Skyrim VR is awesome. <laughs> and when you're using the natural locomotion, which allows you to walk using your hand, and that, it, it's hilarious. And when you meet up with a dragon that's going to kick your ass. <laughs> Trouble is, I put all the mods in that make the dragons harder. And I thought, yay, I'm going to make the game harder for myself. So I've got Frostfall and I needs in there, so when I'm playing Skyrim I need to eat, drink and I can freeze to death. <laughs> and I've made the dragons harder. And I've been put in the AI immersion thing, so the animals act more like animals, predators and prey. So you can find packs of walls, like 30 or so walls, roaming the tundra. It's wonderful. So I do it all day. And sometimes I do talks on mental illness. I do vlogs and that and talks on mental illness and cancer. I can talk about all those things because of power and because of my problems. But doing all this really helps. It's wonderful Skyrim. And we need more games like that in VR where you can actually just get lost and I don't have you'll notice I don't look at the map I do not look at the map in Skyrim I just try not to follow the roads and, the, and it's very easy to get lost if you get chased by a dragon and you've got to run away from the roads so yeah I love doing all this I think we've got another five minutes and this should be done let me check it Oops. Okay, in there, yep. Oh, yes. In fact, I think that's ready. I think it's ready, people. I'm going to turn that off. I think it's ready. Let's get. Do, do, do. I need this and I need the other one. See, this is the thing with me. With my ADHD, I lose things very easy. Right. I've got one of my mittens. Aha! You want another one? These mittens are great. I bought them for doing barbecues and it's so much better than having actual oven gloves. These you can actually feel what you're doing. So let's get it out. Let's get it out and see what it's like. Watch myself when I open this because that's going to... Amazing. Yep, the past is cooked. I'm going to have to blow this for quite a while because I do not want to be in my hand, my mouth too much. It smells really nice. I want to just eat it right away, but I know it's a bad idea. That, that's gorgeous. I 
are they? And you can just taste the chilli and the heat that's at the back of your throat from the chilli and that. It's gorgeous. That is beautiful. I would definitely suggest this recipe to anybody. And yes, you can do a vegetarian version. You can do a fish version. You can use pretty much anything in your house. That is gorgeous. It really is. Yes, definitely yes. That's come out really nice. Yeah, it's a good idea, Renegade. It's a really good idea because you choose how much of everything goes in. And it, it's trial and error, but you get used to it and you start thinking, you get to know how much chilli you like, how much of each type of material. This, this is gorgeous. And I love inspiring other people to cook. That's why I don't give actual recipes. So what it was was this. I did a sauce which was basically two onions chopped up, um, one tomato, some mushrooms, and some coconut oil. Just cooked them up. Mm. Because it's your job. Yeah, I, I've heard that a lot from um, people in the culinary area. And then I just set up the meatballs and basically I used the meatballs, the turkey meatballs, because I had them in. I could have used mackerel. I've got a tin of mackerel over there I could use. Sardines. Um, anything you can use. You could have fried up some bacon and add that as the meat. If you wanted meat, if you didn't want meat, you don't have to. This is like an idea that you can turn into your own version very easily. And as any cook will tell you, feedback from the food itself when you're cooking your own food you get used to tasting and listening to the food as you're putting it together and that it really is that that's how you know if when it's ready that's how you know by using your own senses Now, I'm going to stop the stream, and unless anybody has any more questions before I do. I will eat this, well, a little bit of it, and then be up on the computer. And I will be streaming at 12 o'clock, or around 12 o'clock. Sometimes it's 10 minutes before, sometimes it's 10 minutes after. But it's about 30 minutes from now. So I hope you're having a good day and thank you for being on the screen. I do this to inspire people to cook for themselves. I do this because, because of my problems, doing this with you here is a lot easier than trying to do it on yourself. I'm not cooking just for myself here, I'm cooking for all of you. And that makes it possible for me to do it. So thank you. So, goodbye for now. I will see you all later. This is Jason for the Queber Channel saying goodbye. <laughs>